This lesson is going to focus on best practices and housekeeping tips. Select your assembly, right click, and select assembly properties. Go to the construction tab and start looking at the construction of your assembly. Now you see you have some really long names here, Lane Super Elevation AOR, Urban Curb Gutter General. If you were to see two Lane Super Elevation AORs side by side, just the words, it would be really hard to tell which one was which, which was on the left side, which was on the right side. And because of that, it would be hard to tell exactly what you should be targeting, especially when you have special conditions on one side versus the other. I've always been a big fan of plain English, something that's descriptive, especially when naming civil 3D objects. There are instances where letting the naming templates take over it works well, but for something like this, when it's very intricate, you have a bunch of decisions and things like that that need to be you know, logically stated, it's best to go in and use plain English. What I'm doing here is going through selecting every subassembly in my assembly and giving it a logical name. You'll see I've entered right lane super, right curb gutter, right inside grass link. These mean something to me and they're easy for someone that I'm working with to be able to quickly decipher without trying to figure out what is what. I'm going to do this for every subassembly. Uh, you'll see that I'm going to give a couple of these more descriptive names. This is my right conditional cutter fill cut, and that's because I'm going to have three right conditional cutter fills. For the daylight inside right of way, I'm going to rename it and give it a number. We want this, this will be number one, or we're going to just give it some kind of differentiator over the other right daylight. So I'm going to wrap this up on the right side. And once again, for the sake of speed and efficiency, We'll speed through doing the left as the process is the exact same. Just make sure that all of your subassemblies are labeled with something that's easily recognizable and you're able to differentiate between the right side and the left side of these.